China's newest amphibious assault ship aims to match U.S. aircraft carrier equipped with F-35 jets. Notably, China is also building a successor Type 076 landing helicopter dock, which is heavily based on the Type 075, which is expected to own and operate an unmanned aerial combat vehicle UCAV, that will be equipped with an electromagnetic catapult launch system AMLS, allowing for carries a better payload than conventional ski-jumping counterparts. Designed for top-bottom offense, China says its new AJTGM can deal maximum damage in Highlands conflict. VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing and refers to an aircraft that can take off, hover, and land vertically. The F-35B fighter jet is the best example of a VTOL-capable fighter jet. This is the Chinese fleet's new Type 075 landing helicopter pier, which literally means carrier compared to the American WASP class by many experts. A total of three ships are expected in this class, with one already commissioned named Hainan, and the second to be commissioned soon as Guangxi. The Type 075 is important in many ways to the PLA Navy. While the Chinese carrier does not carry fixed-wing aircraft, it can carry a number of helicopters, the Z-8, Z-20, attack helicopters such as the Z-10 and Z-19, and rotorcraft WAVs that can create combat potential. Similar to the American F-35B, according to Chinese military experts. China is still far behind in the development, manufacture and deployment of the fifth-generation v stole fixed-wing fighter. However, the Type 075 class ships are larger than the French Mistral class and Australia's Canberra class, second only to the American class and the US Navy Hornet. In comparison, India's newest carrier INS Vikrant also has a displacement similar to the Type 075, exceeding only a few thousand tons. The ships are being built at Hudongthong Hua Shipbuilding Company Limited, and is expected to play a major role in expanding China's military assertion in the Eastern Pacific and beyond, especially when it comes to Taiwan. Beijing has issued several warnings to the island nation about reunification with mainland China.